Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. I wasn't planning on making a video, but Godot Engine has decided to do almost as big of an implosion as Unity did earlier this year. I didn't think anyone could pull it off, but this is pretty incredible and it needs to be talked about. First, let me give you a little background on why Godot is even as popular as it is now. In late 2023, early 2024, Unity tried to implement a new business model that would charge per user installs of someone's video game. This was rightfully seen as an absolutely ridiculous business model and had mass pushback from the community. What they should have done, and what they are most likely still going to do in the future, is a flat percentage fee just like Unreal Engine does. In the past, Unity has offered pro models where if your studio was big enough you had to buy a subscription plan with them was the way they made money, but this just seems like it isn't enough revenue nowadays. This is where Godot came in. Godot works very similar to the Unity engine, even going as far as to allow developers to port over their c -sharp scripts and current projects into the Godot engine. This means that when Unity gets a bunch of negative PR, Godot is the most similar engine so a lot of devs are going to look to move there. This last Unity blunder was the biggest opportunity Godot had ever seen and they took full advantage of it, rapidly increasing their user base. This brings us to the last 24 hours where it seems Godot's community management team is trying as hard as possible to get the community to hate them. What's the easiest way to destroy the goodwill of a large community that you built over the last year? I think the obvious answer is getting political. Let me make this clear. I don't think it matters what you believe in, but this should not be brought into video games or especially video game engines at all. There is a time and a place for everything, and virtue signaling with a company's Twitter account and Discord is not the way to do it. It's hard to find what the origin that sparked this tweet was. From what I can find, it's people pointing out that the community manager's account is heavily into identity politics and this led to people calling the Godot engine a woke engine. Instead of ignoring the small amount of people saying this, the community manager decided to go nuclear. Now, the crazy part is a lot of the people getting blocked and backlash aren't even leaving comments directly about what they said, they're just saying to leave politics out of video games, please. While I see this as a pretty rational take, I guess the community manager does not. While this all started on Twitter, or sorry, x.com, it seems that the Godot Discord mods are imploding just as badly. Here we have this slightly unhinged monologue of the main Discord mod agreeing with the Twitter manager. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read all this, but it is a lot of the same thing, just being pasted over and over and over again. However, some past posts got dug up by this Discord mod, and they are really, really, really bad. I've had to black out some of this screenshot because it is the most racially insensitive word that starts with an N that you can think of. Not only is this person a hypocrite, but this is also the person being put in charge of who can speak in the community Discord. While this was already bad enough, turns out some of the Godot members who have power over on the GitHub, decided to start blocking the same developers on X speaking out over on there. This is really bad because GitHub is where you actually get new features for the Godot engine and forks of it. Not only are they saying these people aren't allowed to speak, but they're also saying they're not allowed to use their product. This initial reply that started blowing everything up too was from someone that is a Titanium member to Godot, which means they've given them a lot of money month over month. I'm absolutely shocked these are the people that the Godot team chose to be in control of the community management for them. I'm I'm going to assume we're going to see a lot of people getting fired here and a mass restructuring of this. If not, I think it's a massive problem, and I personally won't be supporting the Godot engine anymore. I did have Godot installed, and I messed around with porting some projects over, and while I still like my Unity workflow more, I did think it was cool to have an alternative, but I really don't want people who are bringing this kind of thing into our game engines. Game engines should be for people making games and allow them to create whatever ideas they want. We see too many people rambling about politics in areas of our life today, and I don't want that in my game engine. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something new, and catch me in the next one.